18 year old Russian teen who commits suicide um, on live broadcast after watching Joker, he shot himself in the head in a very disturbing video after making reference to a scene in the movie. So I know we mentioned Joker on Wednesday. Yeah, right? so I'm going yeah. to just let you guys talk about the story because you guys have seen Joker. So um, is it capable you're yet of to making see, somebody right? commit suicide? I'm not very sure because, I mean, I read reactions on the story and there was one that was very profound. The person said, that this whole mental health issue is becoming alarming, very confusing. Now, it's not even just for we that would say we are not psychologists. Even those that are psychologists, those that are actively in this space are telling you that they don't understand, understand it anymore. Like, it takes different turns. So, mm. it is possible for this to trigger someone. Mm. I mean, it's, the story is really centered around mental mm -hmm. health. And also, some people are also saying it depicts the idea of people just waking up in different countries mass and sh mass shooting and all that. But I think what I want to say on this story and to rest my case is the way we have uh, movies being rated for sexuality, for nudity, for all that, I think it has gotten to that point where movies should be rated for mental, mental health. health. <laughs> like, you have to have a certain level of mental Hell, like let there be that disclaimer before you watch it. I, I think that's the way to go now because I saw it. I understood that this is very deep. I understood that they were trying to depict a lot. Like you have to be on a certain level to understand mm. it. I know I was talking to a friend and I said that this movie, even in this part of the world, our own mental health understanding have not even gotten close to this point at all, mm. right? Mm. So I think that we should get to that point where they rate movies based on your mental health capacity. That's mm. all I have to say. <clears throat> I saw, I've seen the movie, and your question, yes, I think the movie can actually trigger um, someone trying to commit suicide because mm -hmm. if, you, if you're experiencing what the guy was experiencing in the movie, you can feel like at the end of the day, killing yourself will give you freedom. Mm -hmm. Do you get? So it's possible that the guy saw the movie and it triggered um, him committing suicide. Mm. But I want to borrow um, Breaking Spears' words. It says something that, you're an adult. That's why this movie is rated 18. Mm -hmm. you get, you're an adult. This thing is a movie. It's pretend. It's not real. People need to understand that before they see, mo um, see some movies. If you know you can't watch that kind of movie, just you don't have to. Mm. It's not compulsory. I don't know if you understand where I'm I coming from. I get what from. you're saying. Mm -hmm. But <clears throat> I, I, it's going to be a very bad market for this, um, the maker of the movie because mm -hmm. I feel like people are already advocating for them to take the movie down from mm. the cinema and all. But there are other lessons in that movie. A lot. That, a lot of good lessons in that movie that ch touch um, about the society, about parents. About how they don't pay about... attention to people with mental health issues. Mm. Even um, at some mm. point, you got to realize, this is my own understanding, you can understand it differently, mm. but I got to realize that he had, the, he had a disorder which uh, makes him laugh, laugh when, when he's, he's supposed, not even to, supposed cry. to laugh. So he laughs, he laughs, and he cannot stop himself from laughing. So his mom thought that he was happy. a happy child. Mm -hmm. So you're doing something really horrible to him, and he's just laughing. Like you're beating him, and he's laughing. And it, it took a long time for him to finally get help and be mm -hmm. diagnosed. But all the while, growing up and all that, he was tied to... He was really maltreated. But while going through this maltreatment, uh, um, he was just laughing. Mm. And the mom just believed that he was, he was a happy child. child. And, and the mom also has mental health issues also mm. where she imagined things that, that, that were not real. Like, it's a very, very deep, deep broad movie. Movie. And it got to a point where he was getting help from um, a free medical center. Mm. Then the government had to close it down. And yeah. then he stopped getting his drugs. The medications. So and that was when he started really acting, acting out up. his mind. Mm. Do you get, so there are other lessons to pick up in that movie. That's why I said I feel like... Everybody needs to understand that it's not real. Mm. It's just a movie. Yeah. It's just a story that is pro is, that probably never happened. So yeah. It's not real. Yeah. So. It's possible it also happened, but not mm. in this not exaggerated in this, yeah. manner, right? And like you said, the cutting of funds, there are so many people that need this drug, they cannot afford it, mm. and that happened. And when they don't get their drugs, they, they can act very rational. So it's it's sad i'm um, um r.i.p to this guy but yeah, it was um, a very horrible video i just hope watch. that um he's easier to watch it but i just hope that no um, like the, the boys censors... video no i haven't watched it i can't I watch that no. <laughs> the it censors really and board at quest globe to has to take that into consideration please kindly send the link after the show